kid. Keep going. Keep that on. Malcolm? The, the camera's on to keep that singing going. How are you? Andy. I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. There's a marvellous game where Scotland's its home. And it's a game that is truly unique. I know it takes out of your life, it gets you away from your husband or wife for at least oh, four or five hours every week. Now it's basically simple, you hit a wee ball with dimples with some clubs that you keep in a bag with the ultimate goal to get the ball into a hole that sits at the foot of a flag. But that's where the simplicity ends because as you all know my friends, it's a game that can drive you demented. I mean, just when you've thought that you've played a great shot, next thing, your wish that had not been invented. A walk up the first and then you get to the top of what is second tee and 18th to my left and uh, you get an idea of what's to come. There's some stunning views. After many years of visiting East Lothian, I'm ashamed to say I've never played the Glen. And if first impressions are anything to go by, I've been missing out all these years. Third all 3-4-3 three, three. and the plan was, I'll be honest with you, is to get the camera out more on the back nine when we play along that sort of uh, shoreline. But um, again, great first, um, well second in particular and then this third tee position, absolutely stunning. So we're going over the bit of a, a dip there and uh, green sits on the horizon looking into the sea. But it's a stunning start to the round. It's so nice here this morning. Um, not far after seven o'clock and a great time to play golf. Oh, it's even better when you hit a tee shot like that. Malcolm, we're uh, at another great golf course in East Lothian. If... The Glen's just magic. It's of all the golf courses of the 21 in East Lothian, um, for price, scenery, friendliness it comes out top does it yeah yeah it's Cheapest. fantastic yeah i mean it's I'm, I'm ashamed to say i've never played it till today and i'm we're on the i think this is the seventh and i'm amazed at first, it, great golf course but the views themselves are kind of uh, the, the views really make it i mean it's not links it's it's on the cliff with the ro the bass there yeah. but it's it the, the scenery is fantastic um you know the gannets diving up that white on the rock is all gannets right so that's white birds not wow. bird poo so they um <clears throat> And they disappear off to sea and stay there for three years and come back to nest. So it's real a, a fair kind of wonder. You see them diving off the boats on there and the lobster boats oh, getting the lobsters. Stunning. You'll get at the lobster shack down in North Berwick. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I'm just amazed that, like I say, there's uh, yet another course that uh, doesn't fail to impress on this uh, on this stretch. It's incredible. <clears throat> Scotland's golf course. That's why we call it what it is. Although golf was played on the East Links as far back as the 17th century. It was the duo of Ben Sayers and James Braid who designed and oversaw the opening of the now Glen Golf Club in 1906. And as you can see, the location is breathtaking. She heard me calling. She heard me say her name. But she hides away the I just want to step on the eighth tee and uh, I've already mentioned and I'll probably still mention throughout the video how good these views are but backdrop there we just a new view is uh, a castle I think it's Tantallon Castle but don't quote me on that so we've got Bass Rock we've got the sea we've got North Berwick in the distance and now we've got a castle we need a tee shot going over that brow because uh, it's a bit of a blind one so I'm not sure what lies over the hill we'll soon find out Oh, do you know what? There's no better sight in golf, is there? And it one down the middle into a blue sky 
watching your ball just float down the middle. That's a great feeling. It makes everything just that little bit better. Next question I've got for you. Um, actually, I just used a reference on the green there. I said it was a wee bit dreich. Well, that's wet, isn't it? Dreich. 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 Dreich is a kind of uh, that cold, wet, grey, misty day. Right. So what is yeah, today? So today is windy and chilly, or sluddy, and it's a broad day for golf. But what, what, what I want you to explain is that the East Lothian microclimate and I know at 10 o'clock it's going to get sunny. <laughs> the duck in East Lothian microclimate. So, <clears throat> temperature inversion. Pressure at night changes mm. and um, it affects the weather. So Scotland is high in the west mm. and low in the east. The weather comes from the west, the clouds go up, it rains. So most of the east of Scotland is in a rain shadow. So lower rainfall, St Andrews, Dornoch, all these areas. Yeah. Um, and here, because we have the river just across here, um, it, the clouds don't like going up, so it's a natural escape to scoot out towards the sea. Get rid Gullen, of the rain. Get rid of the rain. So Gullen Hill is there, slightly high, mm. so it pushes over across to Fife or inland. So by and large, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., we don't get any rain. And well, I, I've had so much grief for this, it's unbelievable. Well, we've got no rain. We could do with the sun coming up a little bit, but we're not far off 10 o'clock, so I'm, uh, <laughs> I'll take today, mate. I could sit here all day, to be honest with you. Well, That's not a bad spec, is it? I got 190 down breeze and uh, and downhill quite a severe change in elevation. I'm not going to mention that view. Out of interest, uh, yeah, I'm going to try seven iron. Um, I've really got no idea what we should be playing here, to be honest with you. Well, we shall wait and see, because that's not a bad ball. Oh, oh, it's actually quite good, yeah. I thought it was too long. Well, you've got a better view than I have without the camera, but I think that's just snuck off the back edge now. So as much as it could have gone to eight iron, uh, playing 194 to the centre. That's a strong breeze. I was waiting to tee off on 12, but the signature hole that I referred to earlier, which I got wrong, it's a 13th, which we're going to play shortly. Um, but it's a great view of it in terms of the green from up here. And you see it sits on the beach. It's, uh, it's the Glen's, uh, well, it's the Glen's Pebble Beach there. Looks so literally doesn't look a lot of room for error. We're going to be playing back into the breeze and it looks like you play from a fairly elevated position uh, back down. Um, can't wait to play that. I think we should have picked it up and played that wedge shot in and uh, I'll be honest with you, it was more luck than judgment. I know it came off the left, but it was great to see it swing round and I finished, uh, like I said, far closer than uh, I really, well, not so much deserved, but I didn't realise how severe the slope is back down. And again, it's been a good feature. The greens have been superb. Not, I don't really mention about sort of how the course was played, but immaculate again in condition as well. Um, but I love it again, proper linksy feel in terms of the shot type that you've got to play. You've got to weave your way into these places. You've got to know the cambers. Um, otherwise you've got no chance. Oh, go on. Oh, and also uh, it's nice to hold a putt. That's a decent birdie. The 13th really is a special golf hole, with little room for error. And as you can see, don't make the mistake of coming up short. I'm going to end this video where we started it really. Uh, I mentioned we were on the second tee, we've managed to get our way to 18. Uh, the sun came out a bit, bit of a breeze. And uh, that's what you're left with and hopefully I can stick a drive down there to finish. But uh, fantastic, can't praise this place enough. It's been, uh, it's been a really enjoyable morning. Uh, bit, of, uh, bit of a test with that breeze and uh, exposed up on the hilltop. 
but you don't worry how you play golf uh, when you're getting views like this and uh, it's been a, it's been another a great day in East Lothian. <laughs>